WDTM, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News at 6. Those who helped search for the runaway Xenia mother are now praying for her. Good evening, I'm Sonu Basu. The family of Tiffany Tehan faced the parishioners of Patterson Park Church this morning to thank them for the massive search effort launched after Tehan was reported missing last Saturday. Tehan and Hutcherson were not at the service in Beaver Creek. But our partners at NBC's Today Show have confirmed the couple is back in Ohio. You're looking at exclusive video of Tiffany Tehan and Trey Hutcherson shot by a news crew in Cincinnati yesterday. This video was shot in Hills where Tian's parents live. Meanwhile, back at Patterson Park Church, where Tian and her husband David were members, the pastor thanked members for their effort in searching for Tiffany. He also reminded everyone not to be so quick to judge. There's not a person in this room this morning that is so righteous that you could never do something that is so unusual and so uncharacteristic that it would surprise everyone who knows. And you can watch more of this exclusive video on the Today Show right here on WDTN beginning at 7 a.m. right after 2 News Sunrise tomorrow. It's been a soggy Sunday, but we have avoided severe weather that struck the south. Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis tells us when we'll see the sun again in the Live Doppler 2X forecast. Thanks, Sonu. Hang in there a couple of days. We should get it back. But this soggy Sunday certainly didn't keep some men from going out there doing some fishing in West Carrollton today. Of course, really cloudy, rainy. That's some good fishing weather, although I prefer just the cloudy part, not when it's wet. But we did have the rain coming down. And you know what? Tonight on Live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley, we're still tracking some showers lined up from Greenville down through Preble County into Montgomery County. As a matter of fact, seeing some of those heavier showers around the southwest corner of Montgomery County at this time, uh, working up through the Gratis area in southeastern Preble County. So we'll see some more showers over the next hour rolling across the Dayton area. And showers extend back to the west of that as well out into Indiana and that chance of rain will continue into tomorrow. You can really see our low-pressure center spinning away. We actually had a couple of counties that were under watches earlier this afternoon. Really no threat of severe weather, though that was mainly over the central and eastern part of the state. But uh, for about an hour or two, a couple of counties were under a severe uh, thunderstorm watch, but even the rest of Ohio now no longer under that watch tonight. Now, your forecast tomorrow is going to be a lot cooler than what we even saw today. Breezy as well. Northwest winds tomorrow at 10 to 20. We'll see some on and off rain showers hours again throughout the day. Upper 40s to start the day and only getting up into the low to mid 50s in the afternoon. But that sun is coming back midweek. We'll check out the seven-day planner. All right. Thanks, Brian. And we will keep you updated about the chance for severe weather on air and online. You can also get breaking weather alerts directly on your cell phone. Signing up is easy. Just go to the site tools box on WDTN.com and click on SMS text alerts. The South is picking up the pieces tonight after a deadly tornado ripped through the area. Jay Gray shows us the devastation this storm left behind. I'm in a tornado right now. The skies turned black and filled with driving rain, followed by a massive funnel cloud. Just one of more than three dozen twisters that ripped across the Southeast Saturday. All right, we're all right. But much of Mississippi is not. At least 16 counties were ravaged by the storm. Some of the most severe damage is in Yazoo City, about 40 miles north of Jackson. The worst thing I had ever saw in my life is devastating. Homes, businesses, and lives ripped apart. Twisted metal and splintered wood litters what little is left here. Trees snapped and stripped bare. Cars and trucks crumpled by the intense winds and flying debris. Mixed in with the rubble of what used to be a grocery store, a makeshift triage unit treating at least a dozen injured. The most severe taken by chopper to area hospitals. We got a lot of resources here on the ground, but we need them. It's a, uh, it's a really bad tornado. The storm system continued to cut a path to the east where stunned survivors walked through what just minutes earlier was their neighborhood, now completely wiped away. The severe weather also touched parts of Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama, and Louisiana. In Madison Parish, near Monroe, hazmat teams were called in to deal with a massive liquid nitrogen leak after winds seared through a chemical plant. Just part of the devastating and deadly path the storms left across several states. Emergency teams continued to work on the ground here through the night and into the early morning, beginning what is sure to be a long and very difficult cleanup and recovery here. Jay Gray, NBC News, Yazoo City, Mississippi. 
A tornado also rolled through Louisiana, preventing rescue crews from looking for survivors from the oil rig explosion earlier this week. A Crime Stoppers alert now for a man who tried to go shopping with someone else's credit cards. Take a look. Perry Township Police say this man took a purse Thursday night and tried to use the cards at the Brookville Speedway. The man is described as 6'2", 250 pounds with brown hair. If you know where he is, call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. And police are still asking for help finding thieves who broke into a gym locker. Take a look. These two men are using one of the stolen credit cards at the Target on Feedwire Road in Sugar Creek Township. Officers say they took it from a locker inside the Urban Active Gym at the Green on April 13th. The victim says his belongings were locked up, but thieves were able to break that lock. We're not exactly sure how our suspects, in this case, defeated the lock, but they did defeat the lock, and the lock was resecured on the locker before our victim returned from his workout. Police are also looking into a similar crime at Fitworks. The men were driving a white mid sized car. Call Crime Stoppers again at 222 7867 if you have any information. Two local school districts are asking taxpayers for help on the May ballot. According to our partners at the Troy Daily News, the Newton D local school district says its 0.75% income tax levy would generate $515,000 a year. The levy is a renewal, which means residents will not pay any additional taxes. The money would be used for general operating expenses. Meanwhile, the Bethel local school district is asking taxpayers to approve a 0.75% income tax levy. The tax would only apply to earned income, so only those actively working would be affected. A resident making $50,000 a year would see a $7.21 tax increase. A tasty treat with proceeds benefiting a good cause. Tomorrow, the Dayton Mall Auntie Anne's Pretzel location will donate 100% of a pretzel and drink sales to Dayton Children's Medical Center to celebrate National Pretzel Day. Organizers say they chose a Dayton Children's Hospital because it touches so many lives in our community. It's wonderful to be able to see how small things, again, a pretzel is a pretty small thing, uh, you can turn that into something positive for the children at the hospital. Auntie Anne's Dayton Mall has raised nearly $47,000 for Dayton Children's during the past decade. Well, next at 6, the body of an infant is found near a highway. How police believe it got there. And staying secure online, what one U.S. lawmaker is promoting so your information doesn't go public. Are you waking up with two new sunrise? Well, if not, take a look at what you're missing. We have breaking news out of Brookville this morning, where Interstate 70 is shut down just west of Arlington Road. Now, if you take a look, we can show you they think the man was trying to cross Dorothy Lane over here by this curb and ended up running out in front of that car. Breaking news out of Lebanon this morning is video barn fire back to our newsroom. We can see the flames giving fire crews quite a battle. Firefighters say by the time they were called, the fire already had a big head start on them. We broke this story yesterday morning, but there are questions that remain this morning. Our southern and southwest counties stand the best chance to see a little rain early on today. So join us for overnight breaking news. Plus traffic and weather every 10 minutes here on 2 News Sunrise.